Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the February release blog hop with Pink Fresh Studio. And I have a fun project to share with you using several of these gorgeous new products. So there's a lot in the release. I only used a few, but uh, these are the nested arch hot foil plates. And these are the arch floral stamp stencil and coordinating die set. I love on the back how it shows you what the products could look like when you use them all together. And here's the coordinating arch florals die set. There's also some nested arches dies that coordinate with all of this. I'm going to start by foiling up one of these mid-size arches. And I forgot to show, but I'm using Aura Hot Foil. It's a beautiful gold kind of iridescent hot foil. And I use some Hammer Mill white cardstock. And I fold it up and I'm pleasantly surprised that it worked and foiled it like butter. So there you have your foiled arch. I'm going to set that aside and now I'm going to start blending using this arch florals stencil set. Now you can do this several different ways. You can stamp the arch floral, stamp the image, and then start blending. But you can also use a stencil without the stamp set. And that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I'm blending these little florals in several different colors. I've got sparkling rose, clementine, a little lemon whip to shake it up. And I just love, these are kind of my go-to colors that I use time and time again. They never let me down. Now here's the next stencil, which has the little center of all the blooms. And there's also a big arch there that I covered up with some scrap paper. Then that allows you to blend a little background on the inside of an arch if you choose to do so. Now I'm gonna add, there's extra little blooms here in the next little stencil. And since they're tiny little openings, I chose to pull out some of these gorgeous new little blending brushes. These are also a new part of the February release and they are delicious. I love the packaging and I love how they feel in the hand. I'm using bubblegum ink and just blending away all these tiny little blooms in kind of a hot pink bubblegum color. Next stencil is the foliage. We're shaking it up. We're not doing green. We're doing blue. I pulled out summer showers and doing some blue foliage. Again, another one of these little blending brushes from Pink Fresh Studio. They blend like butter. And listen, I got a lot of blending brushes. And these ones here got to be the most beautiful. Steal the show. Okay, I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut this blended image out. And it, uh, I love that it's one die and it perfectly lines up, cuts all the blooms. I'm going to take the nested arches dies and die cut my foiled arch. Okay, so all the little nested allows you to cut the outer and the inner. You could do one or the other. You don't have to cut both. But I decided just to cut out that complete foiled arch. And then I took one of the smaller nested arch dies and I'm die cutting it into some scrap paper. What I'm doing is kind of creating my own little smaller arch stencil because I needed one just a little bit smaller to fit inside my foiled arch and I'm going to blend just a subtle little pink background. I got a combination of sparkling rose and then I did pull out a little bubble gum just to get a, give it a little gradient love down in the corner. Not too much, not too little, just a little something something. Okay, so there you have your little blended arch on your card base. I'm putting some foam adhesive on the back of my die cut hot foiled arch and I'm going to pop this up over the blended arch. Like So we're just kind of starting to assemble the card. Everything's pretty much been done. This is the best part. Uh, this, I don't know, this is giving me a wedding feel. It's like, but it's so pretty. It could be used for any occasion. Uh, now for the sentiment, this is the circle florals stamp set and this also has a lot of other coordinating products that coordinate with the circular formation and all that jazz but i just used it for the sentiment because i like that big hugs and happy thoughts and i die cut it with the coordinating die popped it up right in the middle and then to finish it off i'm doing some of these new glitter drops i believe these are called ombre glitter drops and they're kind of gold ombre they're flat but they're shimmery. They got the three different sizes and they're just the perfect pink fresh embellishment. And this card is finished. Make sure and check out the rest of the 
February release blog cop. I'm sure there's incredible inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.